Hi there, I'm Spooky and welcome to some more Assassin's Creed 2 playthrough. Now, in the previous episode, we have assassinated the last member of the Depazzi family. So we're pretty much good. We got rid of our the most sworn enemy. And now we can move on to the mountains. Now, Leonardo da Vinci have moved out of the Florence. So we are basically on our way to meet him in his new location. So let's get in with the mission. Now, as always, we'll do some more exploration and some story and see if there's some side quests and stuff to do. But yeah, let's move on. Leonardo! There it's he is. You? What luck! I uh, have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. Sure, no problem. I'm... That's pretty easy, huh? <laughs> I would never. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't <laughs> even told you where I'm going. I don't think Ezio believes him. You're like, a man? Fly? <laughs> Alright, Romania holiday. Drive Leonardo's carriage towards Venice. Ooh, nice. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Vianto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. Of course. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hi. So more enemies. Okay. Survive attack. Oh my That's god. Right. Climb on board. <laughs> Knock them off. Dear, oh my god! I feel like I'm gonna like, kill myself. Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. <laughs> this is fun and scary. Hey, get off my carriage! Oh my god! Why are there so many obstacles on the road? This is a hazard. Jeez. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. Um, hey, this is tougher than it looks. Okay. Um, smash heading enemies into roadside. Oh, I could do that. Hey, get off my carriage! Oh my god. Hey, how can I smash that guy? Get off my carriage. Yikes. Here. How do they jump so far? That's crazy. Ooh, okay. Oh my god. Hold on tight. It's going to be a little rough. Can I can I drive faster? Um Wow. Of course destroy a whole bridge that connects places because that makes sense just to capture two people oh my god i'm sure that bridge was important for like trade and transportation nah not very smart Ooh, don't burn don't burn don't burn oh god another one Are we 
are we, are we almost there? Time to fight. Okay, got this one. One more. I can't counter attack this guy for some reason. It never seems to work. Well, at least he's gone. Can I loot him? He better carry some good money here. Throwing knives. Oh, okay. Small bombs. That's useful. More throwing knives. Okay, let's see. Huh. I don't need to buy anymore. I can just steal. I need to steal from these people. Perfect. Okay. Where are we? Let me look around. I wonder if there's anything useful here. Hmm. Maybe not really, because this area seems to be a little closed off. I'll just have to keep on going. Yeah, I can't explore there. Well, never mind. Let's go here. Oh! Are we already in Venice? Interesting. Okay, I guess let's keep going. No, no, we're not. We're not yet. We're a little far. Let's steal a horse. Let's... Oh, there is money there. Oh. Let's steal some money. I'm sure these people won't mind. Or do they? Maybe they do mind. <laughs> They're like, wow. Here comes this no man. Part of this evil. Just get out of my way, lady. Jeez. Hmm. Which way do we go? There is a lot of water here. I wonder if they had a flood or something. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's go to. Let's go to our objective. Oof, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Poorly. Found in 798,000 BCE by Paleolithic cavemen who were interested in flint manufacturing. Forli has been an industrial center ever since. The name comes from the Roman Sporum Levi, who built the city in 188 BCE. Along the Via Aemilia, Amelia, one of several roads they laid after pacifying the, the Gauls in the region. After Roman rule, it went from Lombard hands to into church hands, and then became an independent republic in 889, infuriating the Vatican, which spent the next 400 years trying to get it back. On top of Rome's constant manipulations, Forley had to deal with a steady stream of Goth, Byzantine, Lombard, and Frank marauders for the next few centuries. Along with annual flooding, which was finally brought under control by diverting nearby rivers away from the city center in 1050. 
Like most independent republics, Sporli became a military dictatorship at the end of the 13th century, and that was passed to the Ordelaffi family, who, despite having a lion with its tongue playfully sticking out as a crest, were not all that cute or nice. <laughs> <laughs> in 1480, with the Ordelaffi fighting amongst themselves over the chain of succession, the Pope stepped in and gave the city to his nephew, Girolamo Riario. But things didn't really go as planned for the Pope. When Girolamo was killed, the city passed to his wife, Caterina Sforza, the Amazon of Forli, who fought tooth and nail to prevent the Vatican from taking control. Ultimately, however, Caterina was vanquished and Forli passed into church hands. Interesting. Bit of history here. Alright. Let's go find our objective loaders. There are some uh, soldiers there. They won't see me, right? I'll just pretend they don't exist. Okay, do we have to go on top of there? Fresh caught leeches. Who requires bleeding? No, thank you. No bleeding for me. Oh, this this place is big. Also, it looks much more darker than Ven uh, than Florencia. In Florence, oh my god. Like it looks poorer. You know, in a way. Almost as if it's like overrun with... Like poverty and disease. Hmm. What's going on with that man? He just kept pushing people. Too higher. Oh, oh my god, okay. After running around, I finally figure out where to go. Uh, it's so gloomy. Here. I'm going! I'm going. Is he living on this ship? Oh my god. How do I get there? Oh. Avamposta Veneziana. One of the strange glyphs Sean mentioned is on this landmark. You should find it. Okay. Remember that. Venetian naval strategy involved maintaining a steady chain of, based, of bases along their trade routes to the east, ensuring that its merchants were able to get there and back without being attacked by pirates or Venice's enemies, the Turks. By the end of the 15th century, Venice's fleet was occupied, trying to force charge Charles VIII of France out of Italy, at which point Turkish forces struck without warning. Venice was soundly defeated, losing its Greek outposts. Following that, the Turks managed to invade Venetian territory in northern Italy. Although Venice was able to keep most of its territory, from that point forward, it would never again be a great naval power. Interesting. No wonder it looks kind of overrun. Here. Over here. Have some patience. I'm going. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. <laughs> Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? Uh... What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Uh, Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! How'd you get there, lady? Tutti a bordo. Help a screaming woman get back to the docks. How did she get there? You think the rules don't apply to you? Get the hell off my boat! I was just wondering. I was looking for a glyph. Hold on. I'm going, I'm going. I'm just trying to find the glyph. Where is it? I'll get back to you, lady. I'm sure you'll be fine. Where would it be? I hope it's not on the boat. 
But this place looks overrun. Like, by a lot. Um, where would the glyph be? Yeah, yeah, I'm going, lady. I'm going. Hold up. G give me a moment here. Maybe it's somewhere here. It's not down there, is it? Hope not. Oh, okay, I found it. I found the glyph. How do we get there, though? All right, let's see. Okay, the lady will be fine. Keep on seeking and you will find. First plucked from a tree guarded by a snake, its powers perform miracles, then worn across the ages torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red, reconstruct the timeline. Plucked from a tree guarded by a snake. Okay, so I guess the, the biblical, biblical events. Okay, let's see. Joseph, Egypt. Jason, Greed history Jesus Christ Jerusalem Henry David and Goliath Christ is disrobed John Paul Marat Prometheus Greece prehistory Hannibal Carthage Saint Francis Borgia okay um Nice. I wasn't sure because I'm not very familiar in with Christian biblical events and stuff. Oh, okay. I think I kind of guessed that one. Um, they took it. Took what? Uh. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. What is that? Piece of Eden 66 shroud. All right, let's see what we got now. Huh? Just a little piece. Okay, let's go synchronize, and we're gonna go save the lady before we move on. If we even can get there, how do we get up there? Oh, through here. We reach the top, let's synchronize, and then we can help the lady. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine, ma'am. I think I have to go on that little island first, huh? Yeah, okay, hold up. And like, no one cares or what? 
So it's like if Ezio didn't go uh, trying to help her, she would just just die there or something. I don't know. The water doesn't seem that deep. Okay. Oh, this boat is slow. I'm going, I'm going, lady. I'm trying to figure out how to how to do the boat. Dio del cielo, aiutatemi! Madonna. Oh, you are good. The ladies must like you. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is Caterina exactly Sforza. Oh. And you are Messer... Oh. Auditore. Oops. <laughs> please. Oops. Oh, yes, I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Hmm. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all here. Mm. Hopefully we can get out of here. Without getting stuck somewhere else. There we are. I like her dress, very pretty. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Mm-hmm. Hospitality. <laughs> oh my god. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known. <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. <laughs> Ezio Casanova, I guess. Alright, what is this? Abate di San Mercuriale. One of the strange glyphs Sean mentions on the landmark you should- Oh, okay. So, another glyph. The tower of the Abate di San Mercuriale, with its height of 75 meters, is one of the tallest in Italy. The first church on the site was destroyed by fire in 1173. The present structure was built with brick and the Lombard Romanesque style, and took only seven years, making it one of the most miraculous construction jobs in the history of Italy. The colonnade to the right of the church is part of the Abbey's cloister. Hey, that's really cool. Well, let's go look for a glyph and synchronize it as well. Oh, and there is money here. Since we're exploring this mountain region. Yay, money, money, money. Let's see what's the best way to get up there without missing anything, of course. Hmm. You see it here. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm, interesting. Martyrs. Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. Some sort of code. What should be here or what? I was wondering what it wanted me to look at. John of Arc, France. This? Oh, okay. 
Hola, Rasputin. Oh. They burned John alive. Oh. Without the staff, the Tsar is powerless. He could no longer control his subjects. Revolution! Revolution! Interesting. Oh. Okay, well that one was very quick. Yep. A little piece. Alright. Well, let me synchronize real quick, I suppose. What is that? Okay, I think this is the way. If it lets me. Oh boy, okay. Nope. All right, almost there. Some some of those are so tricky. Um, oh god, do we have to get up all the way there? Mm. Okay, hopefully I don't fall. But he won't go up. Oh, there we are. There we go. Oh, wow. This is really high, huh? Let's go see the tomb. Rocca di Ravaldino. Okay. We found another landmark. Built with a square plan and imposing corner towers, this fortress was constructed in 1471 by the architect Giorgio Marchesi Fiorentino at the request of Pino III, the Lord of Forli, then enla enlarged with the citadel by Girolamo Riario, the new lord. The citadel later became the refugee for Caterina Sforza from an attack by Cesare Borgia, Rodrigo Borgia's bloodthirsty son, in 1500s. It was then used as a prison. Doesn't really seem like a fun place to hang out now, does it? <laughs> Any added information concerning huh. the Santa Very Cara interesting. Okay, oh, yeah, let's see. Where is that assassin tomb? Um... Gotta be an entrance somewhere here. Hmm. Somewhere on top? I wonder. Oh! Oh, there we are. Nice. And more water, okay. Hopefully there is no soldiers around. That makes it more difficult. Or maybe there are, never mind. Okay. Ravaldino's secret. Infiltrate Roca di Ravaldino and find an assassin seal hidden within. Restricted area, of course it is. I wonder if they, they know they're has hiding assassin tombs or not. Um, or is it all just a coincidence? Hey, oops, 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 nope. Be careful. Um, Oh, 
Oh, is it timed or what? Oh, okay, I gotta be faster. Oops. Come on, Ezio! Okay. Got it. There's something here. I think there is something there. Hold up. Oh. How do I get there? Nope. Alright, there we are. There is some money here. Perfect. Nice. Okay, where are we at? Uh, I assume we go this way, no? Hmm. Diving under obstacles. Hold to swim underwater. Oh. I see. Alright, we reached the checkpoint. If I drop from here, I'll, I might die. Okay. Maybe I won't drop anymore. Just a little bit Tomb Raider elements. Oh, okay. There's a soldier there. And there we are. I knew it. So we just have to make it across here and over there. Nice. I gotta be careful so no one sees me. There's one over there. Maybe I can throw some knife at it. Oh. Or maybe not. He's coming all the way here to me. Perfect. Hey, on you. Stop a moment. I would like a word with you. Come, sir. Just a quick word. Get him. Just a quick word, sir. Mm, yeah. Wait, another one? Ah! Oh no, I've been seen. Nice boots. I'll think I'll keep there. On him. Ugh. Nice. I was trying to carry that body away, but uh, he's a little slow. Oops. Uh, I guess I'll just loot him. Whatever works. Hmm. Nothing much. Yeah. Oh crap! Damn! Which way did he go? Get him. Which Where? way did he go? Nah, move. Oh, I was trying to sneakily assassinate him. Ooh, ouch. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Alright. Where do we go? Is it over there? Uh, to here, I suppose. Or not. Okay, maybe not. Let me look around. Oh, never mind. There's stairs. But I can't climb them. It looks like I have to get over there. And to get over there... I do need to get on top of there. Hmm. How do we get on top? Oh. 
Oh, okay. I think I, I think I, I think I know now. Like this. And there's another soldier there. Just. Your business. Your turn. <laughs> well, so much for being an assassin. Where was I? Where did I fall? I fall into some ditch or what? What is this? Oh. Where? Well, where am I? Oh, okay. I got confused. Uh, and where do we go next? Just over here? treasures oh, I can't get there either oh, okay I think I figured it out all right got it okay okay got it got it oh my god that was very confusing um I assume this is also time, so I have to be very quick. Okay. Yep. Alright, what's next? Over there. Okay, got it. There we are. Alright, we made it. Finally. Oh god. Come on. Come on, Ezio. We got it. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay. Nice. And more obstacles. Okay, make it up there. I think this is where finally the final part is. Um, should be. Alright, we have to assassinate this one. Let you oh, come on! Oh my god! been seen why can't I assassinate these people I'm so bad at this oh well we just have to fight everyone I suppose Why couldn't I assassinate him real quick? That's so weird. I'm gonna get my sword. Now I can assassinate. Hey, what? Hey, what? Worked out at the end. Okay, we have to make it up there somehow. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
this seems to be this seems to be the way okay this one was a little easier e oh uh, no I was like <laughs> I was almost started saying yay we found it and no we did not okay I wonder which one does it open Come on, it's you! Wow, we made it! Nice! Alright, so let's steal thingies. Treasures, treasures, treasures. Any more treasures? Alright, another one. Oh, and there is the exit. Which one did we get? Seal of Chulangal. Nice. What's this? Oh, the lever. Okay. Well, let's leave. Now we can go to Vince. But first, let's synchronize real quick. I'm sure we'll, we'll have to come back here eventually for whatever assassinations. And if not, we'll just explore that one later on. To Venice, let's go. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is husband. See, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, we're Better back! All right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Yet. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities. You know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't <laughs> be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. I was wondering when we're gonna go back to the real world. Interesting. Okay, can we talk to... I guess we can talk to them. I'm not gonna st make the same mistake I made in the first game when I didn't talk to anyone. Hey, nice work today. You're a natural. Thanks. It's definitely getting easier. 
I gotta say, after all the crap I went through at Abstergo, it's nice to be with the good guys. Good guys? Let's not get carried away. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> In case you've forgotten, Rebecca, we're assassins. I can look it up for you if you like. Basically, it means we assassinate people. <laughs> Only when we have to. It's a choice. You're choosing to kill. I haven't killed anyone. No, not yet. But what do you think all this is for, eh? You think Lucy is giving you Ezio's abilities so you can build schools in South America and deliver rice to starving Indonesians? <laughs> what are you, Desmond, a vegan? You'd be the first <laughs> vegan assassin in history. Look, it's not ideal. And taking a life is never easy. But sometimes, there's no other way. Sometimes, Desmond, people have to die for things to change. She's got a point. But don't fool yourself into thinking you have no say. I mean, isn't that what we're all about here? Safeguarding free will? Well, they're in the way taking the launder on hands, but... <laughs> the guy is funny, though. What could Sixteen have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Well, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. So that's why he's so salty, because he want to go in the Animus, but he can't. Huh, <laughs> I see now. Well, it sucks to be you, buddy. <laughs> you can be angry all you want, ain't gonna fix anything. Okay, let's go train with Lucy. Um, where? There she is. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on! But does he retain it or his reality is overlap? Stir goes out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Open your third eyes. Okay, well, this one's activated. Um... So all this time they haven't been activated because they wanted Desmond to get tested. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let me look around and see. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's, it's horses. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. Okay, if you say so. so. How am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. Hmm. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, mm. different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. Mm. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. Oh, 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 he died, huh? So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. I wonder who was that subject 16? Is this someone we know? Uh oh. Oh, that's trippy. Hmm, I think.
think that's it. We only have one over there to reach. Oh, I can't. Hey, over here. Are we done? Are we done, Lucy? Where is she? Where'd you go? Oh, oh, there you are. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Oh. So, this was only like one day? That's crazy. I I thought it was at least a few. Can I talk more to her? I guess not. Okay, well, let's go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning we talk to them again. Oh boy. Uh oh. This is longer than 30 seconds. Right? Oh, who's this? Who's that? Uh. What the hell? Oh my god! This is Altair! What is this? Where am I? It's Aker. Altair. Wow, it looks so cool. In the newer in graphics, the I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Oh, without sleep, who knows how long? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, must be his target. Oh, where'd she go? That's really nice. Okay, where'd she go? Oh. Is it that girl that we spared towards the end? Well, maybe not. Well. Okay, maybe it's not the target, we just follow her. I mean, we're clearly faster than her. Well, let's keep going. Oh, oops. That was intentional. It's just, you know, just trying to slow myself down a little. For her sake. <laughs> That's so nice. I like how they included this part. God, this I could not I swear I was like trying to climb this thing for like 10 minutes and he just wouldn't that was driving me insane I literally had to google it how to climb that thing. that was really annoying um, yep yikes huh. I thought of maybe it was unclimbable or something Left her there, okay. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Alta here? I'm 
stuck here with Maria? Oh, shit. That must be AJ. This is one weird dream. Don't know about you. Is she, uh... Pregnant? Maybe she's pregnant, that's why we're stuck there? Uh... That is really trippy. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we will... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. Alright. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. So, uh, he made it to the bed and no one was concerned? Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. That dude, he getting on my nerves. Jesus. Why he's so stuck up and salty, man? Chill. Yikes. Okay, we can't talk to anyone else. Are you okay, Lucy? Hey. Uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us? Then what? When that happens, if that happens, We'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. I wonder how many of the assassin groups are there. This group is very small. There's like four of us only. Um. All right, let's get back in. We gotta see Venice. Serenissima Repubblica di Venezia, 1481. Mm. Oh, this looks like a really nice, rich city. You can see like, the canals and everything, just like Florence. Reveal your information to your map by visiting viewpoints, of course. Okay, what's up, Leonardo? Messer da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Signor Donna has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Benvenuto. Take a quick tour of Venice with Elvise. Let's go. Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Very pretty. I would love to go. Come, I will show you her wonders. Oh, Our really? first stop. The Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal. A symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let's read. Oh, there's a glyph here. Okay, well... I have to go on with the tour. I'll have to come back here. The oldest and the most famous bridge in Venice, the Rialto, is the dividing line between the districts of San Marco and San Polo. The bridge is notable not only for the size of its large arc, but also for its main walkway lined with shops and stalls which was a vibrant strolling and a meeting place for the community around it contrast that will that with today's rialto there were crowds of tourists fight over cheap knockoffs of venetian glass while some idiot attempts to spit off the edge of the bridge onto the passing boats ah modernity indeed let us continue yeah, they're gonna go on without me. I have to follow them. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto. Oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower. Magnifico. Come, come. There's more to see. I wanted to read about it. They won't let me read anymore. It was too slow. 
Okay. I guess we'll read later. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets. Be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... There is... Uh, you were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop, no, stop, stop. Oh my God. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Aww. I thought we could beat him up or something, but I guess we shouldn't get in trouble. Oh. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have I left my money with my bags. Hey! Mind your step, Corleone. That's a girl. <gasps> and she stole his money. Oh boy. Oops. <laughs> Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbario. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now. Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been a resistance, some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. Bajanate, if you ask me. Hmm. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. What nice people, huh? Okay, we can read about this. The home of Venice's most powerful merchant, Emilio Barbari Barbarigo, work on Serra, as it is affectionately known by locals, was completed in 1450. The palazzo is a standout example of Venetian Gothic architecture, dark and imposing, yet light and airy at the same time. So beautiful, I love it. Bottega di Leonardo a Venezia. During his brief stay in Venice, Leonardo da Vinci was a paid military engineer for the Venetian army and claimed to be working on the painting of the famous Isabella's d'Este, of whom he had made a cartoon while visiting Mantua. Despite promising her repeatedly that he was hard at work, no painting ever materialized. <laughs> Although many history books claim Leonardo only visited Venice once, it seems that he used his workshop there as a sort of secret retreat, returning to it repeatedly during his life. <laughs> and now I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. <laughs> no tip. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. I do have a codex page, but he was like, he was away. I wonder if we can do it right now real quick. Maybe we can. Emilio Barbarigo, titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. 
He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. Mm -hmm. As does, you know, opposition. I didn't know I could do these things. They were 1421, to a Russian merchant guild leader. Noble. Hmm, okay. Alright, we can visit him right now. For the page that I have. Leonardo! Ezio! So good to see you. How can I help you? Really? Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! I literally just saw you, Ant. <laughs> like a minute ago. This goes down here. I take that up there and blend it with... Uh, I've got it. That was fast. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get an audience. Santa Maria Gloriosa dei Frari. Now that bell tower looks like a challenge. Yes, and beautiful. Built by Franciscan monk, Santa Maria Gloriosa dei Frari, the Frari for short, is the second largest church in Venice. Following the guidelines of St. Francis, who advocated poverty, the church has very basic exterior decoration. It is rumored that in the 15th century, the Frari housed a hidden tomb, which has since collapsed. I wonder if it's still there. Okay. How do we get there? Come, friends! I'm fresh caught leeches today. Oh. Oops, I'm blind. How best to get inside? Scale the wall and oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. Need to find another way. Oh, who are these? Just random thieves. Why do I why do I feel like it's gonna be his future girlfriend? Oh! Wow! Oh! No, 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 no! We gotta save her! Ouch! Come on, Ezio! Hey, I need your help. I remember you. You stole my money. Need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. No. Or stealing my money. Va bene, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. <sighs> okay. That's gonna leave a mark. Help Rosa get to the river. Ooh, her name is Rosa. Yeah. Escort and protect Rosa. Oh, nice. Now I can assassinate? Hey, I think she hit me by accident. Ow, don't hit me, girl! I can protect you if you... You're hitting me. This is going to do a whole lot of damage. Oh my god, come on, man. I'm going! I'm going! Hey, wh where'd she go? Oh god. <laughs> Why was she there then? God damn archers! Hold on, Rosa, Rosa, wait! Wh where'd she go? She's too fast! <laughs> Quickly, they're getting closer! I'm going! Wait for me! And she's injured. <laughs> she just not that lady. <laughs> Perfect. God damn archers. I'm going, I'm going. Why is everyone throwing stuff? Oh oops. Oops. God! They're gonna kill her. Oh my god. I need to kill too. Oh, 
I have nothing to heal with though. Ooh. I have no healing potions. Are we going backwards or what? Where are we going? I'm following her. And then Quickly, they're getting closer. She, she's getting me somewhere who knows where. Now. Oh boy. Come any closer and I'll cut you to pieces. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, this is much faster. Get out of my way, people. No, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Come any closer and I'll cut you to pieces. Oh I killed civilians by accident! Whoops. Survive if you count. Do try. <laughs> this is so chaotic. I wonder what's her deal though. Better off on my own. Up. Excuse me, I'm trying my best here. God damn archers. Come on, Rosa. What's up? Are we are we close or no? Oh, did, did she just hire them? I didn't. Ah, Christo, my leg. It's okay, we got you. I never did catch your name. Rosa. Honorato Rosa, I met you. No. You know. What do you mean, I know? <laughs> when you break the rules, we break you. <laughs> That one well. Deal with the guards. Well, time to deal with this guy here. Cut him off. Kill them, Axio, quickly. Take the sword. Uh, are there more? Where's the other one? Okay, where to next? Okay, there's the one there. Okay, we're going a little too fast. But I would just like scout ahead. They're all over the rooftops. Do something quickly. So 
dramatic. Am I a killer? You should not be there. Don't let them get away. Oh my god. Oops. Oops, we fell. Get him! Okay, well, that worked out, right? Where are we going They're shooting at us! No one's shooting at you, what are you talking about? You're fine. You're fine. Everything's gonna be okay. If only I get my axe They're together. From where? From somewhere up top? Oh. Why are you Get oh. down! Get well, nothing I can do. You have no business up here! Eccolo, you won't escape! Eccolo! Ah. Alright, where are they at? Um. Oh, I need the healing. Means we were able to heal. That's all that matters. Any more archers? Gilda dei Ladri di Venezia. One of the strange. Oh, okay, there's a glyphs there. I will have to come back. Established sometime around 1465, the Venetian Thieves Guild, due to its legality, illegality, <laughs> had no permanent headquarters. Although efforts were made by the magistrates to crack down on thievery, accused culprits never seemed to be around when the city government searching for them. <laughs> How convenient! I guess we get. Get down. Oh, there we are. Oh no, one of them died. He's dead, idiota. Say a prayer later. Porco I need to see. I need to see Antonio. Be careful. Let me do it. Go and find Antonio. Mr. Hugo, do what he says. Qual'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini? What's wrong with me, this guy? Hey, hey, wake up! We need help. She probably lost lots of blood, depending on... Where's Antonio? Make yourselves useful. Clear a space for her. It struck an artery. Put her down there. But still. Where are we? Home. They've sent for help. Thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care of... Now! Come here, boy. In it now. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Piccolo. Sorry! Ficcatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? 
Now! Ben Falco, you work well under pressure. <laughs> Am I? She's spirited this one. Porca putana! Avant! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the wound. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Venisi cancero, brutto bastardo! Ma te che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... Damn. I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. <laughs> so I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... unrefined. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Rosa's been cursing him like crazy. Huh, I wonder why she hates him. Maybe it's her father. I wonder. They kind of look a little similar. Prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti. Un cafe. Yes, please. What's cafe? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. Hmm. A little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know. Have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. <laughs> Enough about that. Now, where were we? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses. And continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No, we must resupply and draw new plans. Can ill afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Hmm. Well, if it means meeting more of Rosa, then that would be nice. Oh, there she is. She seems fine now. Well, besides the clutches. Hello, De Rosa. You seem to be healing well. How are you finding Venezia? It has its charms. But how do you deal with the smell? It's schifo. So? What brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be? I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. Va <laughs> bene, I can do that. <laughs> Friends, so. Well, I can't, but Franco can. Franco! Mover il culo! <laughs> Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffold. Begin in a hanging position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. Mm. There. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. Monkey see, monkey do. Learn Rosa's climb leap technique. Up and press the climb and leap. Jump, Ezio! Oh. Oh, okay, I see. A little tricky. Grab the ledge at the height of your jump. A little tricky. So? How did I do? I've seen better. <laughs> Ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, smartjasso. <laughs> Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the frari. I like her. I do like her. All right, let's see what quest he's gonna get us. Antonio de Bert, fourteen forty-three, profession leader of the Gilda de Ladri di Venezia. 
Antonio was born at the very bottom of Venetian society. Records indicate his father was a cobbler, while his mother was alive and made for the Bellini family. Teaching himself to read and write between apprenticeship sessions with his father, Antonio applied to the University of Padua, but was denied due to his low social rank. Documents found in several Italian archives indicate he applied to other schools around Italy as well and was denied at all of them. Around 1465, he drops out of the record books, only to reemerge four years later in connection with the robbery of a notable Venetian estate that happened to be owned by the rector of the University of Padua. In a statement recorded by the city guard, before Antonio mysteriously escaped from prison, he said, Hard work is not enough to gain superiority in Venetian society. If one truly wants more, one has to take it. I mean, what else he had to do? He was denied education. <laughs> to return to thievery. You gotta survive somehow. Ah, Ezio. I was hoping you might return. I want your advice on something. Of course. Tell me what troubles you. Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting back to Emilio. Not for much longer, they're not. Cleaning house. Identify and kill the treacherous thieves. I guess we could do that. Kill the traitors. Okay, let's do that real quick, I suppose. there so we gotta make it to that ship Get down, order. There. Bye. Ha, nice try ah. okay bye Nope, nope, I'm leaving. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, let's go find another two. Alright, we reached the other spot. Let's look. Let's look for thief. target or what? Where is he? There he is, get him. Oh my god. Why are there so many people all of a sudden? Target. Dove? Merda. Where is he? Oh my god. How long before you tire, Verme? Hey. My blade terrible. Oh, oh they found me. La, get Shit. him. Target straight on him. You little like the others. Not you. See. On him. Right here. We'll get the bus. Some can be all of you. Oh, I see. Oh my god. They really do put up a fight, huh? Alright! Now, let's get the hell out of here. Let's meet up with Rosa. We're gonna climb some more stuff. Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower then? Or new frown not you? By leaps and bounds, ascend the tower as fast as possible using the climbing. 
Okay, uh... Alright. Okay, no, I can't climb over there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think I can climb over here. Here. Ooh. Almost fell. Oops. Oops. <gasps> okay, not here then. Oh, and we have to make it over there. Okay. I we'll still have four minutes left. Um, Okay, it looks like we have to make this jump. Okay. Oh, no, no, no! Oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong button by accident. Okay. Okay, nothing too... I guess we just have to grab onto these. No. Hmm. Well, I think we can. At least we did it within the five minutes. Now go to the bottom. Okay, let me synchronize real quick. Might as well since we're here. like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there. Nice. All right, this is where we're going to stop for today. In the next one, we'll, we'll continue exploring Venezia and see what other tasks we have to do for the Guild of Thieves. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye!